So we bought a new Cherokee rocket with an e-motor, and my son and his cousins decided they want to have a competition to see if it can beat the High Flyer and the Tiger's rocket that were previously the altitude champs. But it looks like it was only a one-horse race because uh, the rockets didn't want to all work together. So we had a few problems with igniters, and on our last igniter, we finally got the e-motor to ignite. And it went high. Very high. Very, very high. And I think everyone is impressed. You can see it's still climbing. It's climbing. And continues climbing in its corkscrew pattern. And by the time the parachute deployed, it was so far out of sight that it was actually difficult to see. Beautiful. Unfortunately, from that altitude, any small amount of wind will drift it. And it drifted right into the water. And there's our parachute. It made it in the water. Not too far. So we went back to racing the other two rockets. But they're also on horse racing because we're having more than ever problems. This rocket has a problem with the motor. <laughs> After that spectacular crash, we finally got the issue with igniters, and my son and his cousin could race the rockets to the first high. The rockets crossed over upon the launch, but the high fire is recognizable with its corkscrew pattern, and it definitely did go higher than the fiberglass reinforced rocket. We got very lucky and some jet skiers helped push our red rocket back to shore so we can shoot it again.